Iran attacked several oil tankers last month. Um, I don't believe that this type of um, situation will stop until there's a strong response in that area there. And right now, there's a Iran or the Houthis proxies that attack oil facilities in Saudi Arabia, fire missiles at the airport and terminal in Rahida or Rahida. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm sorry with the pronunciations. You know, I I, I got to work on it. You know, um, <laughs> but can you speak a little bit about this here while I pull up this uh, Washington Post article for the crowd? Yeah, absolutely. So as we mentioned a minute ago, um, the Houthi rebels in uh, Yemen, uh, there's a civil war there. Saudi Arabia backs the government and the rebels are backed by Iran. So it's basically uh, Sunni versus Shia, which is the same um, two teams as Saudi Arabia uh, being Sunni and um, Iran being Shia, both Muslim, but they hate each other. And um, Iran fights through the rebels and arms them with all kinds of weapons of uh, fairly destructive nature that they wouldn't have uh, if it wasn't for Iran. You know, people say all the time, where did Iran get all these weapons? Well, Barack Obama gave them to him. There have been so many of these incidents um, that two and possibly three tanker bombings, uh, the drone attack that blew up the United States, um, mm -hmm. very large drone, Let me go ahead and uh, that up. several, several uh, oil um, processing facilities in Saudi Arabia were bombed, including a pipeline. And then the most audacious attack of all, they sent missiles into the commercial airport uh, in the capital city of Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. So Iran is becoming crazier and crazier. Each one of these incidents that you and I have discussed over the past minutes, Jermaine, are all acts of war. Mm -hmm. They're beyond terrorism. And as we talked about in the first segment, if this was done against Russian interests, do you think Tehran would be on fire today? I do. Oh, yeah. Um, do you think there'd be Russian bombers over Iran right now? Oh, yeah, I do. And with the nuclear navy uh, of Russia being the Persian Gulf sinking Iranian ships, oh, you bet you, you bet you they would. Why? Because they don't take those sorts of things well. We, on the other hand, the United States, simply ratchets up the sanctions. And so far... The only response has been British commandos seizing a ship that literally should have been seized for violating UN oil sanctions against Iran. 